Welcome back. This is uh, Silas McBain. And this is Amy K. Barr, still yes. in Canada. Thank God. The further <laughs> you are from America, the happier everyone is. Um, what, uh, what's our, what are we discussing today? Land of the healthy is where we are. Land of the healthy? Lack of spam equals healthy. Lack of spam. You seriously want to keep talking about spam? No, I don't. I don't want to talk. I actually don't want to talk about spam. Okay. Well, then shut up about spam and let's move on to something else. Uh, what? hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, what are you eating? Good God. Could you eat that louder? That would be wonderful. Oh, that's Engineer John, you disgusting freaking pig. It, it, it's, it's, it's pizza. You're a pig. <sighs> you're a pig. Um, I'm sorry. You're a pig. I can't hear it. Huh? I can't hear it. Oh, well, thank your lucky stars, because it makes me want to throw up a little bit. Uh, that's, how I, that's how I feel about spam. Well, let me, let, me, let me talk about a couple things here. We've, we've got a list of things we could talk about. Okay. Should we dive into bikini waxes? Yes. You want to talk about bikini waxes? Sure. They're necessary. They're unnecessary? Well, it depends on All the right. Well, we already obviously disagree greatly. Um, I'm not a big fan of Chewbacca. So you give me your opinion on the bikini wax, please. I mean, I think that bikini waxes are great. I'm not opposed to bikini waxes. I'm saying they don't have to be 100% maintained 100% of the time. What about during beach season? Yeah, probably. Okay, so you've just destroyed your own argument, and this is a really retarded conversation. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I'm—I mean, my position is pretty obvious. I'm a fan. <laughs> like I said, not all guys are. Wait, now come on. All right, stop. That's true. Maybe Canadian it's not a requirement. dudes are okay. Maybe Canadian well, dudes cold. are are okay with. Uh, you know, a little Chewbacca on the sides during beach season. But, uh, you know, this guy, no. Uh, uh, I can't understand who would be okay with uh, not bikini waxing. Well, I mean, it's cold here, so. <laughs> so I what are you that... doing wearing a bikini in the first freaking place? <laughs> you bunch of idiots. <laughs> bikini waxes are not just for bikinis. Oh, okay. Oh, well, please enlighten me. Okay, so let me at least. They're not called snowsuit waxes. Let me, let me at least educate you, okay? So, bikini wax, right? Okay. Oh, so, you're making the. Okay, I I'm get it. I'm making the the bikini triangle. Okay? Roger. All right, I'm tracking. Okay, so there's the regular bikini wax that just takes the outer, extern like. Let's extra bikini. You're a doctor. A that's term. the best you can come up with. The extra bikini. Well, that's the medical terminology I would use because it's outside of the bikini. So, like outside of the panty line area, they would take that part off. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, there's not. I mean, there's some girls that grow hair kind of in extended areas. So. I haven't seen those magazines, to, but I believe you. They, <laughs> so. Then there's the extended bikini. Oh. Which is like. Okay, so you this know, is like bikini much, level two. So bikini level two is like, okay, f so regular bikini, fine. Then it's like bikini level two goes to like this, okay? Oh, so we're in the neighborhood of like the landing strip now, right? Yes, yes, sort of, yeah, yeah. And then there's Brazilian, which is like. Okay, we're familiar with what the Brazilian is. I have. Okay, so that's it. So I'm saying. Okay, so. Brazilian. Okay. What so I was saying was let's 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 round the bases here. Brazilian waxes are not necessary. I don't well, I mean, I don't think any of them are necessary, really. Oh, you just told me. It's not necessary. There's a difference between what's necessary and what's preferred. Oh, uh, okay, fine. I mean, fine. I don't know what you guys do up in the great northern tundra of Canada, but 
<laughs> Depends on the season. Here in my country, yeah, we tend to prefer the two or the three. I mean, guys also wax. That's like back sack crack wax. I mean, that's like weird. Have you heard of that? They wax or they yes. shave? Nope, back sack and crack wax. Cause, wait, did you say back sack? Back sack. Back sack. Correct. I'm going to need you to elaborate. <laughs> Two words. Back, comma, sack, no, comma. No, I'm familiar with Crack. what those what those words mean. Um, There's actually people that require waxing of the sack. Do you mean like the back of their sack? I don't know. You're the guy. You Ooh, said back there... sack. I don't know what the hell a back sack <laughs> is. Back. Your back. Oh, back sack. and sack. Because when you say back sack, it sounds like the back of my sack. <laughs> and that's really freaking weird. I'm like, who the hell looks at the back of my sack when I'm swimming? <laughs> All right. This is like far beyond the realm of manscaping. I, for some bizarre, heterosexually challenged reason, need the back of my sack waxed. Nothing about that makes any sense. <laughs> well, and you're cracked, too. All right, well, I mean, the crack, you know, there again, why would a man need to wax his crack? Who's looking at it? If, listen, if you need to wax your crack, I'm here to tell you. There's something going on there that doesn't need to be going on, okay? Maybe girls dig it. Let's be, let's be real about it. I don't know what they do with their cracks up in Regina, <laughs> but here in my neck of the woods, if I've got to wax it, it means somebody's visiting. And if somebody's visiting, shit has gone way wrong in my life. Way wrong, okay? Some people dig it. Dig what? Crack access. <laughs> crack access. <laughs> so Canadians dig the crack access. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, you say some people like you know some people that do. No. I'm just saying it's on the menu. Whose menu is it on? On You're the waxing center's menu. I understand, but what of quote unquote some people enjoy crack cess? I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, then you can't viably make that argument that people dig giving access I'm to the crack. For you, as the other gender, do you know about crack wax? No, not just no. Okay. Hell no. Not just hell no. Shit no. I don't know about crack waxing. Okay, that's, I was just wondering. People do that? Apparently, it's on the menu. I told you, back wax, sack wax, crack wax. Is it on your menu? What do you mean? Is it? Do you? What? Do you crack wax? That, it's not. We just went through the discussion of bikini slash Brazilian wax. So you. But you didn't give me a personal preference, all. I'm not. Giving, I mean, it depends on the season. Okay, so. And sometimes the waxer just does what they feel like doing. Wait, what? Sometimes you get waxed in places you weren't sure you were going to get waxed. It's so like suddenly my eyebrows like, are gone. <laughs> no, but when you're down there. Like all of a sudden that strip of hair that surrounds my left nipple is being ripped off. No, no. But like if you're getting waxed down there, you don't really have that much control over what's happening. By God, if anybody was down there with wax, hot wax and strips. You better believe I've got complete control of what's going on. You don't. You don't really know. All right. Well, someone will meet Chuck Norris in a frickin' hurry. <laughs> and that's not a joke. I'm telling you. Do you get waxed? When you're dead. Do you do waxing? Yeah. Oh, sweet God. Why? Why not just shave? No, 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 no. You no, act no. like that's going to hurt worse than someone ripping your pubic hair out by the follicle for crying out loud. I can't imagine the pain associated with that. It's actually not that bad. You like it, don't you? I like the after effect. You are a sick little monkey, and you like getting waxed. No! I like to go to the dentist also. Alright. Well, so maybe I do have a problem. Boy, yeah. Problem. I actually love going to the dentist. That's a lie. I love having my teeth cleaned. Love it. I should find a dentist while I'm up here. I don't think they have dentists in Canada. Have you seen Canadians' teeth? What are you talking about? They're much better than American teeth. In what way? They're waxed? They're cleaner. <laughs> you guys wax your teeth? <laughs> Not really. 
They're clean. It's just better. We just are better. We're better. All right. Give me the number one way that Canadians are better than Americans. We're better. Cleaner, more polite. Wow, what a wonderful argument that was. I'm convinced Canadians are better. Because we have better, cleaner environment. We have a better... No, you don't. More open-minded society. You guys have as much frickin' pollution as America does. Not true. Not true at all. What about your society is cleaner than America? First of all, we're into recycling, okay? This whole thing in America where they're like, oh, oh God, that's yay. right. Recycling hasn't hit America yet. You're so right. My bad. There is, but people are, don't recycle like they do. There's so much waste here. It's crazy. In Canada? America. You said here. Well, I forgot where it was. See? Obviously, your heart is still in America. <laughs> that's, that's not Your true. body left, but your heart never did. <laughs> Obviously, your green card freaking left, didn't it? I don't know where it is. Mm. And they, I can't really just find it. They're like, well, you have to just go to the embassy and figure out what you're going to do. It's somewhere in Regina. I don't know. I can't even remember if I left it at home or if it's here somewhere. Maybe you should wax the outskirts of Regina <laughs> and search for it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well, I think that's about the end of this. Say goodbye, Amy. What's she doing? I think she's getting waxed. She's gone. We lost her. Oh, we lost her. Uh, that is Canadian Wi-Fi. Thus again, why America is better. America wins. Canada sucks. Good night, kids.